what's up everybody and welcome back so today in this video we are going to see how to integrate the ad colony uh, mobile advertising network the first thing you have to do is you have to create your account on adcolony.com now after uh, creating your account you can uh, you know set up your app so click on this and uh, fill out the information right here so our app is going to be the android so select global right here so we don't have our app on the store right now so just skip that now this is option to enable ad skipping after few seconds so this will let the user to skip the ad after few seconds now here are some sounds setting and the customize ads so after clicking the create you will have your app like that so i am now on my dashboard in the apps section so I have created a mediation test. Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel. So before proceeding to the video, I just want you guys to know about my multiplayer course. So I have created a multiplayer course with over 40 plus lectures and you can see that it's uh, more than 6 hours of lecture app. It is uh, Android app and uh, right here you can see we have our app id and if we go down right here you can see we have add zones now click on the setup new add zones i already did one so let's see what the zones is so uh, you have to make sure that your zone is active and here we have our zone id so you can put any name to your zone so let we can say this is the interstitial zone or rewarded video zone or things like that now here select the add settings i am going to use the interstitial and uh, campaign filter all campaign types and the important thing right here is the development so uh, check the show test ads only if you are uh, testing the uh, you know plugin so uh, click yes and save it so now we have our app id and zone id now uh, the sec third thing is you have to download the uh, plugin from the github so i will put the link of this in the description also uh, right here you will uh, find all the uh, documentation and code that we are going to use so this is going to be uh, very easy so let's start so uh, after downloading this uh, plugin you have to import it in unity so as you can see right here i have uh, right now add colony chart boost and other but you will only uh, you know import this and from in the next video uh, we will see how to integrate the chart boost and uh, unity ads and uh, google mobile ads so uh, just create a new empty scene and uh, in here we have a empty game object add colony manager so uh, this script right here is going to be responsible for all the configuration and showing the ads so let's open it up in visual studio now in here right uh, you can see we have a public text for our message which is just going to simply uh, show the message on the top right here okay now uh, the second thing is we have our app id and the zone ids uh, so this is going to be the array of string because we can have uh, different zones uh, so that's why we are uh, storing them in string array 
now here the we have a reference variable for our add which is add colony dot interstitial add and initialize it to null in the start now here in the start function the first thing we have to do is we have to first configure the add add colony then we have to uh, request the add and then we will show the add so let's see the configure add colony function so in here we will uh, simply uh, call the configure function so it will take uh, three arguments so the first argument right here is our app id the second argument is going to be the add options so right now we are not defining it so uh, you can read it about on the github so here are we can you know define the add options and set the show pre pop-up and post op pop-up options so uh, the link of this documentation will be in the description you can check that out now uh, the third argument is our zone id so the reference of the array and uh, then we are going to uh, register some callbacks so one of them is on request interstitial so whenever we request the interstitial add we are going to execute this code right here so in here we are just uh, setting the message dot text on request interstitial so that we can know now we are executing this line of code now uh, same uh, the second is on ads expiring so whenever ad is you know expired we are going to you know uh, request the interstitial ad by passing the zone id So here we will uh, have our array zone id so because uh, we only have the one zone id so that's why we are hard coding the zero uh, right here uh, okay uh, so uh, this is the configure so this is our configuration so now the second step is to uh, you know request the add so here we have the request video function so in here we are uh, uh, declaring the add options uh, so and set the show pre and post pop-up to true now after uh, defining these add options uh, the second step is to actually request the interstitial add so you can request the interstitial add and video add so we are now right here requesting the interstitial add because our zone is set to uh, request interstitial so it uh, the request interstitial function will take two arguments so zone id so we have only one zone so that's why we are uh, setting zone ids and index 0 so this zone ids is our the string array now second add options now after requesting the third step is to actually show the add so uh, we will call this function on the button click so let's see what we have right here so first of all we will check if the add is not null so maybe due to some reason network issue or some due to some problem add may be null so uh, it is uh, we are going to check if it is not null then we are going to show the add and we are passing our reference variable right here so as you can see right here when we request the interstitial so uh, if we successfully requested it we will store the add in our add reference variable so simply show the add and uh, in the else we will simply set the message null add or no add found okay so let's save this and go back so now we have to call this show function so in here you can see i have uh, some buttons so these two are for the chart boost so here is our add colony button so i'm going to expand it 
and here we have add colony button so in the on click just uh, add this add colony manager uh, reference uh, right here and call the show function on our add colony manager now let's uh, build this game so also if you see in the tools we have add colony toolbar uh, uh, right here so in here we can update the android manifest file so you don't have to manually put anything in the manifest file just click on the update manifest file and it will add all the necessary permissions and code for your sdk so let's uh, build this i'm going to build it on my android now after you build and test your ad if you uh, go back to your uh, dashboard so let me go back so you will see right here the impressions so whenever you show the ad you will have your impressions right here so you can see that we have three impressions so it means our SDK is working fine so that's it for this video guys and I will see you in the next video